Hi, I'm JD, and what we're going to be doing today is some linear inequalities that have one variable. You have just a regular linear inequality with one variable, and then you have these two compound inequalities with just one variable. So I'm going to show you how to do this on your calculator, how to check your answer. So you do all the work for the first one and you get x is greater than negative 13. So what you want to do to put in a linear inequality, go to y equals and then just type it in. So 3 parentheses x minus 5 close parentheses. Now to get the less than symbol what you want to do is you want to push, you want to get to tests, which is in blue. So that means you're going to push seconds and then push the math button. And then you see under tests, you have all your equalities and inequalities. So just go down to less than, hit enter. There's your less than symbol, and then two parentheses 2x minus 1 close parentheses enter then what you want to do is you want to hit graph and notice on your graph this line right here is the solution it's from negative 13 and then it goes all the way over hit trace just to double check, notice it's right on the line. And the line is at y equals. Notice that once you go beyond or fall out of the interval, that your y is equal to zero. Once you go inside the interval, it's now back up again on the line. Now if I hit trace and I hit negative 13, it's right over there. It's off the interval because it's not or equal to, right? If it was x greater than or equal to negative 13, the negative 13 will fall on top of the, the line. It does it. So, all right, now let me show you how to do a compound inequality. Go back to y equals, and I'm just gonna clear this, and then I'm just gonna type in the original problem. Doing all the work, I showed that six, the interval goes, includes the six to positive infinity. So let me just, type this in. So it would be x plus 1. I need the inequality sign. So that would be under tests greater than or equal to 6. Now I need the ands. Now the ands is found in the same place as the inequality signs. So you want to go to second and then push math that will give you tests then go to logic and that's where you're going to find your and and your or so click and then you have 3x minus 1 second I'm going to push tests I need it for greater than or equal to again and that's 9 then I'm going to graph. Notice all I see is this part right here. It's only going to show me the solution. So I'm going to hit trace. Notice that those are all not in the interval. So it's y equals and then it starts y equals 1. Let's see what happens when I push 6. and it falls on the graph. So six would be included into the solution. 
So now let's do this one. Go back to Y equals, hit clear. Same buttons again, right? Just push it in. So it's X plus four. Inequality sign, so second. Math to get to tests. less than zero, then I need to or. So back to second, test, logic, or. And then six, variable button for x, second, test, now it's a greater than. Now it's a negative 12, don't push the minus sign, push negative, negative 12 then graph. You can see the little gap. So it's from negative infinity, uh, not including the negative four, and then it continues on going again from negative two to positive infinity. And what you can do to check is just, you know, push the trace button. Notice that it's negative 1.9, it's really close to negative two, and then once I go over, see it falls off the line. And pushing over, right, that's negative 4.2 approximately, which falls in this interval. All right, and that's how you do um, compound inequalities and regular inequalities on your calculator.